it's Tori. So today I did a very requested makeup tutorial. I've got an overwhelming amount of comments wanting a Megan Fox tutorial, so that's what I did today. I'll link the picture that one of you guys sent to me on Twitter down below. Um, and I always ask you guys on Twitter what videos you guys want to see and like what celebrity tutorials you want to see and stuff like that because everyone loves those types of videos. So be sure to follow me on Twitter so that you guys can send me pictures and requests that you want. Um, my Twitter is right here and my Instagram is right here if you want to follow it. I also have a really good theme going on right now on my Instagram. But besides the point, let's get on to the tutorial. Let's count how many times I drink tea because it's honestly ridiculous. So I'm going to start off with a face primer and this is my favorite right now. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish and I just put this wherever my makeup creases which is around my smile lines and my nose. Obviously you guys have seen me oop more tea um, do my eyebrows tons of times plus I have an eyebrow tutorial on the screen more tea and I'm gonna have it linked down below. So I skipped through that and now I'm just going to set them with a brow gel and this is the um, NYX brow gel. Sorry if the audio keeps like changing. Anyway Moving on, now I'm just going to carve out my brows with some concealer and also use the concealer as an eye primer. I've been doing this lately and I have found that my eyeshadow lasts so much longer and I love the result of it so much more. And then I just set it with the translucent powder and it's like putting makeup on silk. Like it honestly works so much better than an eye primer and you can save money because you don't have to buy an eye primer. So after you do that, you need more tea. And then I'm gonna go in with the Lorac Pro Palette. And I'm gonna start off with this color Mauve, Mauve. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I can never say that. What I'm gonna do with this is put this on the outer corner because Megan really only had eyeshadow on the outer part of her eyes, which is what I really liked about this. Then I'm going to go in with this rustic color. I think it's like garnet or something like that. And I'm just going to put that right into the crease of my eye and a little bit onto the lid. I want to apologize real quick that it's not that zoomed in. I was filming at Ipsy Studios and I didn't have control of the camera. So that's why it's kind of zoomed out. So I really am sorry about that. But then moving on to the outer V, I'm mixing together cranberry and oh gosh why am i drawing a blank sketch sketch cranberry and sketch on a pencil brush and putting this in the outer corner and this will really give that beautiful cranberry color that she definitely had going on in that picture this is optional but i'm going to go in with this color cream and just put that on the inner corner of the lid to blend it together and kind of help the crease colors pop that much more and then i'm going to go in here and attempt to tight line my eyes now be careful because um this never happened before but it happened today yeah that's my contact it just like came out when i did that but I got it back in, no worries. So I tried a different technique and it didn't come out on that eye, just on my left eye. So that's really weird. After your little tea break, go ahead and put on some black gel liner onto the upper lash line. I think this would look really good winged out, even though I didn't wing it just because in the picture it wasn't winged. I just made it thicker on the outer corner just to emphasize the shadow and really just that most of her makeup is on the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with cranberry and just smoke out that liner and this really made a huge difference and it looked so good i loved it moving right along after you smoke that out i'm going to correct my under eyes with some color correction and this is orange and orange will cancel out blue and dark purple um even though it's darker than my skin that is a-okay because right here i'm going in with some foundation and i kind of sped through this and my concealer because you guys have obviously seen me do that a ton of times um this is just the urban decay naked skin concealer by the way love it it's my fave of all time blending out the beauty blender you guys know the drill you know how it go i actually caved and finally got the anastasia contour kit probably the last beauty guru in the world to get it but i got it and i'm just setting my under eyes with the banana powder and to finish off the oh my gosh the contour i'm going with this middle shade you have to be careful with this middle shade though because if you put on too much it can turn like black on you so that's kind of really weird so i don't know if i like the shade that much anymore i'm going to try the one to the right but uh that's just what i did and then i went in with a light blush color because she didn't have too much face makeup on or cheek makeup on i should say 
and just a very subtle highlight from the kit. I think this is in the shade Vanilla. It just has a nice glimmer to it. I'm then going to rim my um, waterline with that same black liner and then go in with that cranberry shade once again and smudge the liner down. What is my face? I don't even know. Just smudge that liner down and make the top and bottom balance out a little bit more. Drink some more tea and then go in with mascara. This mascara is just prepping for the false eyelashes and the eyelashes that I'm going with are my favorite. They are the Demi Ardell 120s or I guess the Ardell Demi's 120s. No, they're wispies. What am I saying? They're the wispies. So I'm just quickly popping those on and I'm going to finish off the eyes by putting a little bit of lower lash mascara on. And then all that I'm going to do is she had pink reddish very very glossy lips so I'm lining my lips with a hot pink lip liner and then going in with this tart um, it's like a lip surgeon's but it's more of like a moisture stick I would say I'm gonna have the info for it down below and it's super super glossy and it was perfect for this look so after your lips you have completed the Megan Fox look So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you guys want more celebrity makeup tutorials. Also, don't forget to follow me on any sort of social media if you want to stay updated in between my upload, which is once a week now on Thursdays. And also, don't forget to join the fam and subscribe. You guys can subscribe right down below right there. And yeah, you guys can see every new video that I post. So thanks again so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.